In this video, I will show you how to run a Bitcoin Core node on your computer for free. This video is part two on how to run a Bitcoin node. In the first video, I showed you how to download and verify Bitcoin Core. That video is optional and it just shows you how to verify that the Bitcoin Core you have downloaded is the correct software. In this video, I'll show you how to actually go about setting up your node. I'm running my node on a MacBook Air with a three terabyte external hard drive. A Bitcoin node takes around 560 gigs of storage, so a one terabyte external hard drive will work. Now, just a quick recap of what we did in the previous video. Firstly, I opened Firefox or any browser you want to use, and then I went to bitcoincore.org. Make sure that you are on bitcoincore.org. Then I clicked download at the top of my screen here, and I downloaded Bitcoin for macOS. I clicked DMG here because I'm on macOS, but you would download Bitcoin Core for whatever operating system you're on. Next, I scrolled down and I clicked on macOS verification instructions, and I quickly verified that the download I downloaded was the correct Bitcoin Core software. That step is completely optional, so if you would like to do that, go and watch part one. But anyway, let's move on, and I'm going to open my downloads folder, and here is the Bitcoin Core download sitting in my computer. What I need to do is just double click on that file I downloaded and it's going to open Bitcoin Core over here. So now again, I just double click that and then I have to drag Bitcoin Core to my applications. Now I already have Bitcoin Core downloaded, so I just need to click replace, but that shouldn't pop up for you. And I'm quickly going to fill in my password. All right, my password is in and Bitcoin Core has been added to my applications. So now if I open my finder, I already have it open here. And then I go to applications. At the top, we will see here is Bitcoin Core. So all I have to do is double click on Bitcoin Core. And it's going to give me this warning. Bitcoin Core can't be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. So to fix this, all we have to do is double click Bitcoin Core. So click with two fingers, then click open and then click open anyway. And that will work. What we need to do now is tell Bitcoin Core where we want to download the blockchain to. So this is around 540 gigabytes of storage. So you want to put this on an external hard drive if you have one. But if you have enough storage on your computer, that's OK, too. So what I'm going to do is click use a custom data directory so that I can specify my hard drive. Then I click these three buttons on the right here. Then what I'm going to do is click on my external hard drive. So here is my external hard drive. And what I want to do is create a new folder specifically for this Bitcoin node. So I'm going to click new folder over here and I'm going to call it Bitcoin node. Then I click create. I make sure it's clicked on that so I can see it's using Bitcoin node. I click open and now we can see Bitcoin core will download to that data directory. It's going to be downloading to my three terabyte external hard drive in the folder Bitcoin node. Now, one thing it will say here is that the initial synchronization is demanding and may expose hardware problems with your computer that had previously gone unnoticed. So the initial download and synchronization of the Bitcoin blockchain can be pretty demanding, but if you just leave your computer running, it will slowly and surely start synchronizing with the rest of the blockchain. And it also says here, each time you run Bitcoin Core, it will continue downloading where it left off. So if you quit Bitcoin Core and start again, it will just continue synchronizing from where you left off. Now, the last option is to limit blockchain storage. So if you don't have enough storage to run a full node, then turn this on and it will become a pruned node. It will limit how much storage is saved on your computer. In my case, I want a full node. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to download the entire blockchain. Now I just need to click OK, and we'll give Bitcoin Core a few seconds just to start running. And there we go, this is the screen you will see when Bitcoin Core starts synchronizing with the rest of the blockchain. Now it's just a waiting game. Just leave Bitcoin Core running, and it will eventually catch up all the blocks you have missed. I like to leave my computer running Bitcoin Core and plugged into a charger overnight and then it usually takes about five to seven nights to fully synchronize. Again, feel free to quit Bitcoin Core at any time. And when you restart Bitcoin Core, it will carry on syncing from where you left off. Now, again, this is just a waiting game. 
And let me go ahead and show you what happens when Bitcoin Core is actually fully synced. All right, so this is what you will see when Bitcoin Core is fully synced. And if you hover over this tick at the bottom right of your screen, it will say up to date and it will tell you how many blocks it has processed. Now, Bitcoin Core will also give you the option to create a new wallet, but I don't really like Bitcoin Core's wallet. I prefer to use Sparrow Wallet. And in another video, I show you how to use Sparrow Wallet and I show you how to connect your Bitcoin Core node to your Sparrow Wallet. So go ahead and watch that if you're interested in connecting this to Sparrow. And that's it. After a few days, you will be successfully running your own Bitcoin Core node. If you found that valuable, liking and subscribing is free. And if you wish to fund future videos that I make, I will leave a Bitcoin address below. Cheers, everyone.